So, so we now start the second lecture. Thank you. Uh, the second part uh, of the talk uh, is based on uh, collaboration with uh, Sin Yupli and uh, Misha Lubich and Sabia Mukherjee. Uh, so uh, let's start over and uh, uh, so, so this is the uh, definition of the deltoid and uh, uh, deltoid appeared as a maximal critical droplet in my previous uh, talk. Uh, uh, the cardioid is the same thing but the ruling disc is uh, outside, rolls outside of the disc. Incidentally uh, the uh, cardioid and uh, the deltoid appeared as uh, 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 the most prominent uh, uh, features of the Mandelbrot set on the left and uh, on the so-called tricone uh, set on the right. Uh, so the tricone uh, is the connectivity locus uh, of uh, uh, the family of the dynamical system Z bar squared plus epsilon. Uh, so uh, tricone and sorry, the deltoid uh, is uh, the hyperbolic uh, domain of period one, as, uh, as well as cardioid in the Mandelbrot set, that the hyperbolic component of period one. Uh, uh, so let me. Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do? I want to. Uh, consider the dynamics of the Schwartz reflection. Uh, we know that deltoid is, uh, um, uh, is a droplet and uh, the, therefore the outside, the exterior of the deltoid is the unbounded quadrature domain. We have Schwartz reflection. Uh, uh, and uh, um, um, so uh, K is a notation for the droplet, for the uh, deltoid. And then we have sigma uh, uh, from the complement U to C hat. And uh, uh, it has uh, a double pole. Schwartz reflection has a double pole at infinity. Uh, uh, and there are no finite critical points of the Schwartz reflection, so only infinity. Uh, and uh, then uh, the pre image of U under Schwartz reflection is a pinched polynomial like to cover. And therefore we can expect topological equivalence to Z maps to Z bar squared. Right, so this is a, a deltoid. And then uh, it's pre first pre-image, it consists of three pieces. Uh, since there are no crit finite critical points, so uh, the, uh, I call the styles, so they are uh, not uh, uh, ramified. So we have three and then taken for the file pre-images, so we get. Uh, so in the previous uh, uh, hour, uh, so in the previous uh, uh, part, uh, so what I did, I cut out uh, the region inside uh, uh, this red uh, domain, uh, red boundary. So this, uh, we, uh, we have a three cover here. We cut it out and replaced by uh, to cover uh, dynamics like z to z bar squared. And then uh, uh, we expect that we get uh, 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 something that is equivalent to z to z bar squared. So the difficulty here is that you cannot do quasi-conformal surgery because uh, you have a pinched polynomial type map. So because of these uh, cusps. So how to deal with them uh, is not so clear, uh, but uh, We'll, we'll, we'll manage to do this somehow. The pre uh, the uh, the uh, the pre images of the Schwartz reflection. There's no Schwartz reflection inside the green uh, region. There's no Schwartz reflection in the green region. Schwartz reflection is defined only in the complement, in the quadrature domain. So deltoid is a droplet, and the complement is a quadrature domain. There is 
global Schwartz reflection defined outside of the deltoid. The pre-image of the deltoid consists of three uh, deltoids. Uh, and uh, 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 yes, the inverse map, yes, right. So that, that's how we construct uh, the generators of the group. Okay, you'll see in a second. Uh, okay, so uh, 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 we continue the picture uh, that I explained here, so we keep going. And uh, then we get, uh, so we, K0 will be deltoid minus cusps. Then we consider pre-images of K0 uh, under all iterations of uh, uh, Schwartz and Map, so and we call the pre-images uh, tiles. So we have some tessellation of certain domain, and tiles don't ramify since there are no finite critical points. Then we introduce the tiling set, so that's the union of all tiles minus singular points, minus pre-images of the cusps, uh, and then we have residual set. Or uh, uh, we, uh, so this is what. Uh, uh, it's non-escaping set with uh, uh, points that don't escape to the deltoid under this non-escaping. It's like fill in Julia set, but uh, uh, the, 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 the role of infinity is played by the deltoid. Uh, so then all uh, iterates of uh, sigma are defined there. And then we also have the basin of attraction because uh, uh, Schwartz reflection ha has super attracting critical, uh, uh, fixed point at infinity. Uh, it's part of the uh, residual set. Uh, so now tiling region and basin of attractions are open set and the singular set is the closure of the pre-images of the cusp. So uh, you can see uh, the boundary uh, of this uh, uh, regions that separates tiling region from uh, residual region. And the theorem says that uh, uh, we have a partition, invariant partition of uh, the sphere, uh, and uh, uh, so tiling region, uh, a singular set, and uh, uh, basin of attraction to infinity uh, for Schwartz reflection, and uh, the uh, yellow curve is a Jordan curve, and this curve is uh, conformally removable. Uh, and conform removability means that every homeomorphism of the sphere, which is conformal in the complement uh, of E, is then conformal in uh, the whole Riemann sphere. Uh, so the deltoid group uh, is defined as uh, uh, you're suggesting. So we consider uh, different branches, three different branches of the uh, uh, inverse map that goes from uh, then deltoid to uh, uh, one of the three pre-images, and each one extends to an atomorphism uh, of the tiling region uh, with uh, uh, and uh, uh, their involutions. So we have then a group generated by uh, three involutions, and uh, uh, the uh, delto uh, deltoid is the fundamental tile of this group. Uh, so this group can be uh, uh, compared with the uh, modular reflection group uh, generated by uh, the uh, uh, by the reflection reflections in uh, three sides of the um, uh, of the spherical uh, of the circular triangle. So pi is the circular triangle. It's not a deltoid. Uh, deltoid is. Uh, um, uh, has the same similar shape, but uh, uh, different degree. Well, uh, there are several differences, but one can, uh, um, and also I, let me introduce the reflection map uh, row. It maps from the complement uh, to the fundamental tile pi in the unit disk. By uh, so we have three regions, and we choose reflection in the bound in the corresponding sides of pi. Uh, 
so uh, then we we can compare these two pictures. We map uh, the uh, triangle to uh, uh, circular triangle to the deltoid, and then continue by Schwartz reflection, uh, and then eventually mapping the whole unit disk uh, to the uh, 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 to the tiling region. So and uh, th therefore we have a isomorphism of uh, uh, this uh, reflect uh, of the deltoid group and the reflection group. Uh, so this uh, tiling uh, represents a uniformization. That's a way to uniformize a uh, uh, map inside the uh, uh, in the tiling region. All right, so uh, uh, it can be described in terms of conformal welding. Uh, so let's, uh, 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 so we represent the deltoid, the dynamics of the deltoid as the uh, combination or hybrid of two dynamics. In one case, we take this uh, reflection map uh, uh, row. Uh, so we have uh, the group generated by three reflections, uh, so, well, like function group, but this is orientation, uh, presuming reflection group. Uh, omega is uh, a component, reg component of the regular set. And then uh, a boundary is the limit set of this group. Uh, and uh, uh, th then uh, we also have a, a, a rational dynamics. Uh, we have polynomial, z goes to z bar squared. The inside is the field in Julia set, and the boundary is the usual Julia set. So from the first picture, we take uh, so this invariant component where the group acts. And uh, from the second picture, we take the field in Julia set. Uh, so then we uh, map uh, uh, so omega to the outside uh, of the uh, to the uh, outside region to the uh, non-escaping region uh, of the Schwartz dynamics, and we map field in Julia set to uh, the tiling region, uh, and then look at therefore we. <laughs> So we have, uh, so this map extends, uh, extends to homeomorphisms of the boundary, and therefore we have a, a, a composition map that goes from the unit circle to the unit circle, and this is called conformal welding map, welding map. So we go from T to T, and it's orientation re uh, reversing, uh, because we mapped uh, uh, bounded domains, one to bounded, another to unbounded. And uh, this, uh, I will call this uh, 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 homeomorphism of the circle the question mark function. It's uh, not exactly uh, the usual question mark function, Minkowski question mark function in um, number theory, uh, but it's a version of it. Uh, so the usual question mark function uh, map Faraday numbers to dyadic numbers in the way that it is shown here. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, 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 let me summarize the deltoid picture. So, we uh, uh, use uh, this arithmetic uh, uh, function, uh, so this uh, question mark function, to represent uh, Schwartz reflection as a hybrid or mating of, uh, uh, of a reflection map in the reflection group and the polynomial dynamics. This is what we do. So we take, I repeat again, uh, uh, one component of the regular set for the group, and then the field in Julia set. And then we identify them along the boundary using the question mark function. And what we get, we obtain topological sphere with a partial conformal structure. Outside, uh, so we are given uh, uh, two uh, coordinate uh, charts, uh, but the, it's not an, an atlas. Uh, but uh, uh, by conformal removability, we, uh, 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 we obtain a, um, a conformal structure on the whole sphere. Uh, and there's only one way to extend this partial conformal partial atlas to a conformal structure. Uh, and then uh, uh, we can uniformize. Uh, so we obtain a, a Riemann surface, a surface uh, of genus zero and we uniformize it to the Riemann sphere. 
And then under this uniformization, uh, the regular set of the group becomes uh, uh, the Thailin set. Uh, the field in Julia set will, be, will become a uh, residual set, uh, non-escaping set, uh, and uh, uh, Julia set, as well as uh, a limit set of the group, will map to this curve gamma, yellow curve that separates Thailin region from this. And then the image of the, uh, uh, of the fundamental tile of the group will become the droplet. So this is how to construct a droplet. So you simply take a, a group, take a polynomial rational function, made them, and then look at the image of the fundamental region. What was P again? P was uh, the tile in uh, a polynomial that some misprints so should be. Uh, a little p is the polynomial z to z bar squared. It's uh, the simple case. Right. Yes, both uh, on the boundary, both uh, dynamics, the Julia dynamics and the limit set dynamics uh, act as topological mark of chain with this matrix, 0, 1, 1. We simply identify. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 right, so t we identify uh, uh, both dynamics with the topological Markov chain. So that's how we uh, come to uh, things. All right, so now the question arises, so can we meet uh, uh, other groups with other polynomials? So we'll keep the group the same uh, at, <laughs> for a while, but we'll try to get the whole quadratic family. And uh, this will be given by... Uh, C and C dynamics, C, the first C for stands for cardioid and the second C for uh, the circle. Uh, so let's look at the uh, cardioid reflection. Uh, now the uh, cardioid is a, uh, is a quadrature domain. Uh, the droplet is the outside of the cardioid. Schwartz function is, uh, reflection is defined inside the cardioid. Uh, the preimage of the cardioid is, uh, uh, under Schwartz reflection, the preimage uh, is one valued. Uh, so it's uh, this little cardioid of size uh, uh, one ninth, I believe. Uh, of, uh, okay, uh, but the preimage of the of the uh, of the droplet, the shaded sets, the outside of the cardioid, uh, will be uh, two valued. So we will have a, a ramification point zero. So uh, cardioid reflection, cardioid is given by the conformal map, z over two minus z squared over four. So I take exactly the same cardioid that we see in the Mandelbrot set. Uh, and uh, zero is the only critical point of uh, the reflection and uh, it reflects it to infinity. Uh, one check this using the uh, conformal map. I explain how to, uh, given conformal map, you uh, construct the reflection. Uh, so uh, the, drop, the droplet is ramified at infinity. And also one can do all co kinds of computation with the uh, uh, reflection in cardioid uh, because the conformal map conjugates uh, uh, this picture. So from small cardioid to the big cardioid is the same as the mind z to uh, uh, 2 minus 1 z, Möbius map, with the parabolic point at 1. So then all computation becomes uh, pretty uh, simple. For example, uh, uh, so 0 goes to infinity, but you compute that 3 over 16 maps to 0, then 2 over 9 so maps. So we have certain numbers, as many numbers as you want, so that, give you, that will give you critically finite orbits and uh, or, uh, strictly Mizurevich, so strictly pre, uh, pre periodic uh, 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 finite. Uh, so, uh, uh, we'll what's P? I mean, if, if you go back to what you had, you had that P and C is the Z over 2 minus Z squared over 4. How, how is that related? Uh, uh, this one, Z to 2 minus 1 over Z, right? Yeah, this is a conformal map. Uh, so it's good. 
uh, all right, so this uh, conformal map, Riemann map, it goes from the so disk to the, in, uh, the cardioid. It conjugates uh, the uh, uh, Schwartz reflection in the cardioid and the Möbius map in uh, the left picture. We use conformal uh, Riemann map as a conjugation. All right, now we, I want to consider the following example. So I take the, uh, so I have this uh, cardioid. So the green region uh, consists of, uh, the boundary consists of uh, the, ca the cardioid, the boundary of the cardioid, and then the disk. And the disk is centered at zero. Uh, and it has radius 3 over 4. So it's the minimal disk that contains the cardioid. And then this is a droplet because the complement of this uh, green region is the cardioid about, uh, uh, quadrature domain and the outside, uh, the exterior disk, which is also a quadrature domain. And then the picture shows, the, uh, we, we, uh, then we start taking uh, pre-images. We consider the tiling region. So we consider the pre-images of the uh, droplet under uh, the pre-image under the Schwartz reflection. And, uh, uh, and then we get, so the first tile will be, we'll have three tiles. So uh, notice the uh, deltoid uh, type uh, uh, structure, so in the uh, uh, in the tiles, so they are triangles, except that uh, so we have so, uh, 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 so then we have a, a pinched polynomial like cover uh, uh, to cover uh, uh, the critical orbit. So zero will go to infinity under the reflection of the cardioid. Then under the reflection in the circle, it will return to zero. So we can expect a peg topological equivalence to the basilica map, which is z bar squared minus one. So which has the critical orbit zero to minus one to zero. So it has, uh, is the center of the hyp uh, hyperbolic uh, component of order two. So uh, this is the Julia set of the basilica. Uh, uh, it's supposed to be pretty. And this is the, uh, 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 the, the uh, result, so the, the, the the result of the, uh, so the picture for the uh, Schwartz function. It's not as pretty, but simply because, uh, so this picture shows one half of the Julia set. So uh, of course, everything symmetrically uh, with respect to this. Uh, so if you will reflect in the circle, so I don't show the second part of the picture. So you obtain, obtained by the reflection. If, well, uh, <laughs> so this is the uh, same picture, but I show both parts. So it's uh, even prettier than the basilica, I think. Uh, and uh, so in general, we can consider uh, 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 these constructions. Uh, so uh, we consider the whole slice of droplets by taking the same cardioid. Cardioid is always the same as the cardioid in the Mandelbrot set. And uh, uh, take the given point A, so that's our parameter. Uh, we take the largest disk centered at A that contains the, uh, the droplet. Uh, and th then this is, uh, uh, that contains the, uh, uh, the uh, that contains uh, the cardioid, right? And the difference is a droplet. So, uh, 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 disk centered at A. We take the smallest disk that contains the cardioid. Right, so uh, uh, this, okay, maybe uh, the, this picture is uh, 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 better, yeah. This, uh, wait a second. Uh, no. Well, it could be this picture. So uh, you have, a, uh, well, a cardioid, uh, right? And then you're uh, given a center. And then you uh, uh, consider the first disk that will 
contain the whole, uh, the whole uh, cardioid. It may attach the cardioid in one point or in two points, but not in three points. And I'm not interested in the case where it's when we have two points. It's the smallest, probably. I, uh, I, say, I said uh, the largest. No, it's the smallest one. Uh, yeah, the largest, <laughs> right. Uh, right, so uh, we can uh, do this with, for all um, uh, uh, parameters. So for all A's. Uh, and uh, um, well, and then we get some various pictures. So uh, in this case, uh, I, I believe it's strictly a uh, uh, post-critically finite case. We take one of the parameters uh, the, when uh, the critical point lands on a fixed point uh, 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 on the boundary, for example, of the cardioid. Everything on the boundary will be uh, fixed under reflection. So to take point minus three over four uh, and uh, 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 take the value of the parameter that will land to this fixed point after several steps. Uh, and uh, okay, so this picture uh, shows that uh, yes, sometimes we get uh, Julia sets like this, or so which is like in uh, usual dynamics. Sometimes things go wrong and uh, uh, you get uh, uh, well, p ugly pictures like that. Uh, and this is the case when we have uh, uh, two points in the intersection of the disk and the, uh, 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 and the... Okay, so the, the main theorem is the following. So we uh, have, a, uh, well, as in the case of deltoid, an invariant partition in the tiling region, in the residual region, uh, uh, so the region where interior of the region where all iterates uh, are defined and the uh, separating boundary gamma and uh, the theorem says that if a sigma a is strictly post critically finite uh, so with the values uh, uh, example of such values uh, so I explain how to obtain uh, so then uh, in the strictly post-critically finite case, the tiles uh, shrink down to points, uh, uh, the, uh, they don't ramify, and uh, the uh, uh, singular set gamma A is connected, uh, locally connected, and conformally removable. So this is the same statements as uh, uh, for deltoid. Uh, uh, and yes. Uh, sorry, uh, 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 A is a parameter. No, it's a. It's the whole plane. The whole sphere. Sigma is uh, a Schwartz reflection. Schwartz reflection is. Uh, no, Schwartz reflection uh, has uh, critical points, so uh, it, it's. Uh, um, uh, it's never rational function. Uh, it's co square root of something if you start computing explicitly. So you have to go uh, to the disk, to the case of the disk, make reflection in the disk, then go uh, by, so it's never rational. So sigma sub a means the uh, dynamical system, the Schwartz function uh, for the uh, uh, cardioid and the disk, and the disk is centered at a, that's the parameter. Uh, 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 so it's, uh, if we, it, it is post-critically finite, so then we have a very nice situation, and in fact the theorem can be, uh, according to uh, uh, Lubitsch and uh, Mukherjee, uh, so they considered more complicated cases, so then uh, it's also true in parabolic and hyperbolic cases. But uh, for, for, uh, for the, my purposes, so that's enough to consider strictly uh, post-critically finite. Uh, case. Uh, okay, try corner. So now we want to consider uh, the, yeah, you don't have to read this, uh, 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 put it, uh, uh, 
so we want to consider uh, the parameter spaces now. The dynamics is uh, well understood. We want to see if we can obtain uh, the... So my, remember, my goal is to produce a mating of a group with a polynomial, and I want to find those polynomials for, uh, with which I can uh, combine the, uh, the group. Uh, and uh, uh, so we will look at the parameter spaces and uh, uh, compare the space for the dynamic parameter space for the dynamic uh, z goes to z bar squared, and this is tricon, uh, with the par parameter space for uh, uh, cardioid and the circle. Uh, and then we need to, to know uh, more about uh, uh, tricons. Uh, so it's a more so complicated object than uh, uh, Mandelbrot set uh, because uh, uh, anti-holomorphic quadratic uh, dynamics uh, is, uh, uh, behaves like es essentially like a slice of uh, a cubic uh, dynamics, of cubic polynomials, a slice of a parameter space of cubic polynomials. So because uh, if you uh, trans want to transform uh, anti-holomorphic polynomial to polynomial, so you take second iterate, so that would be by quadrature uh, dynamics, but then uh, 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 two of the three critical points will have essentially the same uh, 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 orbit, so you have two distinct uh, orbits, and that's the, uh, almost like cubic polynomial. So tricon is a more uh, uh, sophisticated object. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the main differences are, uh, 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 are the following. Uh, so, you see uh, uh, the, uh, in the center, so you see the, the tricone, so that's the hyperbolic component uh, uh, of uh, order one. It's sort of exceptional. Then, attached to it, you see uh, three uh, 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 second uh, order components. Uh, and they bifurcate exactly as components in the Mandelbrot set. But if you uh, uh, consider odd periods, uh, hyperbolic components of odd period, so then uh, they, they are never satellite components, uh, well, like this one. Uh, they, uh, 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 they are copies of baby tricones. Uh, they are primitive and baby tricones. And all external rays, uh, that go to this Bailey tricons, they have uh, non-trivial limit set. So they are uh, uh, not only uh, non-locally connected, but uh, so uh, uh, this... Uh, so recently people made a huge progress in understanding the structure uh, of uh, anti-holomorphic dynamics, and uh, uh, Nakane, uh, John Harbert, uh, Dirk Schleicher, uh, uh, Mahir G was very helpful so in understanding. So working with uh, 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 tricones is more difficult than uh, with um, a Mandelbrot set. Uh, but, um, uh, okay, uh, then, uh, so that's why uh, baby tr tr tricones are never, well, almost never homeomorphic to uh, tricone itself. Uh, uh, so the straightening map is always discontinuous. So this, uh, there are, uh, so the boundaries of the uh, odd components uh, so consists of arcs where you don't have quasi-conformal rigidity. So that makes, so there are several huge differences in the, uh, this dynamics, but this more for uh, professionals. Uh, so those, uh, so that's why the statement is only for critically finite case. Uh, one would like, of course, to, to get a full homeomorphism, but I think there's no chance to get homeomorphism of the parameter spaces. Uh, okay, so a parameter space now, three parameter, uh, well, two parameter spaces. C is the, uh, 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 refers to the cardioid dynamics. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, so uh, it's the set of parameters, is the lo uh, connectivity locus, so it's the set of parameters where the uh, singular uh, set is connected. Uh, you can restate this uh, by saying the files 
uh, in this, uh, for such parameters, tiles don't ramify. So we have a group structure in this. It's not uh, uh, that we're afraid to have ramification of tile, but uh, here we have direct group structure. Uh, and uh, I exclude all, also all va values uh, uh, of the parameter uh, which produces two tangent points. So that's why I uh, uh, cut uh, uh, the axis from minus infinity to minus one twelfth. And then there's strike one, which is locus of uh, uh, connectivity for polynomials P C, Z, uh, which uh, is Z bar squared plus C. Uh, and uh, then I will take only one third. You, you see this uh, 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 C symmetry, Z3 symmetry uh, in the tricon. So I delete the, uh, the uh, deltoid in the middle and take one third of it, left, set le left ones. So that's the picture uh, of the, um, uh, of the uh, second order component and uh, uh, how it bifurcates uh, from the deltoid that we remove. And this is the picture uh, of connectivity uh, uh, locus for uh, circle and cardioid. Maybe uh, the, uh, that's a larger picture. So what we see here, maybe even uh, a larger picture. So what we see here uh, looks like uh, uh, Mandelbrot uh, 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 until we uh, hit... Um, uh, well, if, well you, uh, this is the periodic component of order three. So uh, until you meet this component, you don't see it on the big picture, but you, uh, and then you see tricone. So it's uh, 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 more like, uh, it's tricone, but not Mandelbrot set. Uh, you'll get, uh, that's a primitive component of order four. Uh, so this is, uh, looks like a Mandel, baby Mandelbrot set. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, uh, right. Um, um, <clears throat> uh, so what we also see is a very, uh, so you see this uh, tiling tessellation of the complement uh, of, uh, 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 of, of this connectivity locus. Uh, so uh, uh, the coloring here is according to the time when the point lands on uh, 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 in the dynamical plane. So you have uh, uh, critical points, and then after certain iterations, it lands on the uh, uh, droplet. And uh, uh, this gives a tessellation uh, according to, to this time. So you get a puzzle or parapuzzle pieces. They are different from your course pieces. Uh, it's not uh, uh, dyadic, it's rather Faraday structure uh, uh, in, in this tessellation. But also uh, what is interesting, so it's, it gives a, a uniformization of the complement. So you can, re, uh, uh, it's like, uh, well, but you uh, uni, uh, use uh, uh, the tiling. Uh, for, for, for this reason. Uh, and, uh, okay, so the, I will make a statement, but the, this picture uh, sh shows the uh, connectivity locus for the slice of rational functions that you obtain uh, at initial time zero. Basically the same picture you get, uh, of, uh, you have droplet and then you can flow back and uh, at the end you get rational functions rather than droplets because uh, uh, so if droplets disappear so what remains is a rational function its locus is precisely uh, well uh, looks very similar to those pictures and here's the uh, the uh, theorem uh, uh, about parameter spaces so for every uh, post critically finite uh, uh, map in the uh, circle and cardio family, uh, there is a unique uh, parameter C, uh, which is a post-critical uh, finite uh, parameter in the family of polynomial. But uh, remember, B is one-third, so we take parameter from one-third. Uh, such that uh, 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 lamination, so we cannot do uh, quasi-conformal straightening. 
but uh, uh, so we work with uh, uh, combinatorial objects and uh, in the uh, uh, post critically finite case so this uh, combinatorics could be given by uh, uh, laminations and laminations uh, circle lamination is an equivalence relation to uh, uh, right uh, an equivalence relation on the circle so you uh, uh, use conformal map and uh, uh, say the points on the circle are equivalent if they have the same image so you can uh, define lamination so, uh, uh, well. so we take lamination of the uh, polynomial uh, C uh, so we define lamination of polynomial C uh, PC as the image of the lamination of the Schwartz dynamic uh, by the question mark function and so this map A to CA is a bijection uh, but probably not a homeomorphism, as I explained, because it's a difficult type, of uh, the uh, connectivity laws. Also, using the uh, uniformization of the complement uh, of the uh, connectivity laws, uh, uh, so w w we can say that the lamination model of uh, uh, this cardioid dynamics is precisely the lamination model of uh, the polynomial dynamics under the question mark function. In this case, we apply to external parameter rays. Uh, uh, so that's the, uh, the statement. Uh, and uh, the inverse map, so in this case, we had a map from, from uh, the cardioid uh, dynam uh, dynamics to, uh, to polynomial dynamics. In the other direction, given a polynomial, you construct the droplet by mating. Uh, so we take uh, uh, a parameter C, so it's a polynomial uh, Z bar squared plus C. Assume it's uh, strictly, I'm explaining this for the case of stri strictly uh, pol uh, post critically finite case. So the case when the, dendrite, when the Julia set is a dendrite. So there's no interior in the field in Julia set. Uh, so we uh, uh, take uh, Julia set and uh, the basin of infinity for this polynomial together, they give uh, the composition of the Riemann sphere. Uh, next, we take the Riemann map from the exterior disk to the basin of attraction to uh, infinity, and this map conjugates Z to Z bar squared and the polynomial PC. And then we take the composition of the, uh, uh, of the question mark function and uh, this Riemann map on the circle. So you get the map from the circle to, uh, to uh, and the circle is the boundary of the, uh, uh, so, uh, of the uh, limit set of the uh, reflection group. Uh, so uh, then we take Julia set and the uh, unit disk is the component, regular component of the group, and then uh, combine them together using this map, uh, question mark essentially map. And again, so we, we obtain a topological sphere with the partial conformal structure. It, because of conformal removability, you uh, extend uh, and uniformize. Uniformizing, we get a droplet, the image of pi. Uh, and then, uh, um, uh, I should mention, so I have uh, five minutes. Do I have five minutes? Uh, so uh, 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 let me say a few words about holomorphic uh, correspondences. So uh, uh, there, uh, uh, it seems to be uh, dynamics of holomorphic correspondence seems to be uh, a long-lasting story. Uh, uh, so I think it's like 92. A bullet and Penrose studied one parameter family of correspondences and correspondence is a relation uh, in the uh, uh, in uh, uh, c times c given by polynomial equation and we think of f of the correspondence as a multi-valued function and the inverse is also as a multi-valued function and uh, uh, and the bullet and penrose considered uh, well this specific family and uh, and it has one parameter a and they showed examples of mating uh, and conje uh, conjecture that the family contains the mating with modular group for all values of C. 
uh, 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 for for Mandelbrot values, so for all uh, man, uh, polynomial. So a mating of the of the polynomial uh, with the group according to, to them is a correspondence that such that C is partitioned into invariant sets, on one of which F resembles the action of the group, on the other one the action resembles a polynomial and the inverse of the polynomials on two copies of the field in Julia set. So I tried, I would try to, 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 to understand what this means and uh, came to, it's not easy to relate, but uh, uh, we came to this explanation. So uh, 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 how we, we lift uh, Schwartz dynamics. So we consider the map z plus two over z squared and this is precisely the, uh, so this conformal map from the uh, outside disk to uh, the outside of the deltoid. Uh, it ma maps exterior disk to exterior deltoid and extends to a three cover on the Riemann sphere. It's a rational function of degree three. Now we uh, consider the lift of the deltoid picture. The lift uh, of the Schwartz uh, uh, reflection is now multivalued. It can be expressed in terms of the reflection in the circle, now the deltoid becomes, if we pull back by conformal map, will become a, 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 a circle. And, uh, and then we uh, deck transformation, so multivalueness will be in the deck transformation. So we'll see the action of, uh, of the free product of Z2 uh, and Z3, uh, and that would be modular group, but uh, and uh, all possible branches of the lifted uh, uh, Schwartz reflection and lifted inverse of Schwartz reflection are in the correspondence. Uh, so then uh, uh, F is a polynomial, you exclude and you get uh, a certain uh, polynomial equation. Uh, and the picture is like this. So the right picture is the picture of the, uh, uh, of the deltoid. And then we take a three cover of the picture using the, the conformal map. So that deltoid bec will become a circle and uh, it eliminates one of the cusps. So instead of the cusps, you get a, a Russian, uh, uh, parabolic dynamics. Uh, and uh, then you preserve the rest. So the uh, blue regions so are two copies of the, uh, or, or, or of the Julia set. Uh, uh, th th that's uh, if you want an explanation of how this is related uh, to uh, uh, correspondences. Uh, uh, then, uh, okay, so I'll skip this one. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, let me uh, say that of course, uh, uh, the interesting case would be, and it's, uh, it hasn't been done, uh, it would be to consider slices of uh, uh, quadrature, of slices of droplets, uh, where you have uh, uh, simultaneously uh, non-trivial, uh, well, different dynamics uh, and different, uh, uh, different groups, like uh, considering, uh, well, say, uh, uh, torus groups with non-trivial, uh, now, uh, uh, Tashmula spaces uh, and uh, compare this with uh, Tashmula spaces of uh, uh, polynomials of rational functions so on the same picture. So, this hasn't been done, but it's, it might be an interesting topic. Uh, so, here's an, an example so that, uh, that you can do everything that I mentioned in this lecture with other types of group and uh, uh, then um, the, the mating of this group and this polynomial. It's Sarasun polynomial, but I didn't have time to tell about this. Gives this droplet uh, and uh, the uh, the other picture. Uh, so you th that's the mating of a, a certain polynomial with uh, with uh, uh, Apollonian gasket that produces the uh, the the uh, droplet which is deltoid minus a circle we take out. And this is what happens to this deltoid if we run Hilish of flow up to time zero. So when uh, uh, the drop disappears and you get a certain rational map. So I think I can stop here. Thank you.